What is happening, YouTube? I'm Zeal from Hype TV, and this is a web series where we discuss the upcoming latest and greatest gaming news to get you out of the funk and leaving you pumped. So, in today's segment of Magnetimus Monday, we'll be covering the Mortal Kombat Legend Scorpion movie, the newly released Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Goose Mod, and finishing off with some Smash Bros. DLC characters. That being said, let's dive into the articles. Animated movie Mortal Kombat Legend Scorpion's Revenge will release later this year. Get over here! Vicky Blakes from Games Radar Post Mortal Kombat Legend Scorpion's Revenge, a new animated film based on the fighting series, is expected to release by June 2020. As reported by the Revenge of the Fans via The Hollywood Reporter, the animated movie is in production at Warner Brothers Animation, and they're already top tier attached to the production, including Community's Joe McHale, who will portray Johnny Cage, and Dexter Jennifer's Carpenter is on board, offer her voice as Sonya Blade. The animated movie features a script by Supernatural's Jimmy Adams and is directed by Batman Assault on Arkham Ethan Spaulding. NetherRealm Studios' own Ed Boon is also thought to be on board as a creative consultant, while Rick Morales steps in as producer and Jim Craig as a co-producer whose credits include Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders and Batman Gotham by Gaslight respectively. Sam Register is on board as an executive producer according to THR. Other confirmed contributors include Jordan Rodriguez as Liu Kang, Patrick Seats as Scorpion, and Hanzo Hazashi, Steve Blum as Sub-Zero, Art Butler as Shang Tsung, Darren D. Paul as Quan Chi, Robin Atkin Downs as Kano, and David B. Mitchell as Raiden. We also have Ike Amadi as Jax Briggs, Kevin Michael Richardson as Goro, Gray Griffin as both Katana and Satoshi Hizashi, and Fred Tadasiore as Demon Torturer. And Greg Russo will be the director. Wow, what a renowned cast. So we've got some pretty big VAs on the roster. I'm especially fond of Robert Atkin Downs from his voice as the Cantus Priest from the Gears of War series. Yeah, that guy. Gears of War is my all-time favorite third-person shooter, and by the way, I can't wait to see the final product of their work. Alright, now get ready to get a kick out of this one, or a goose in this case. Untitled Goose Game File writes, Flying Nimbus pulverizes enemies in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot mod. Jordan Gerber from Games Radar Post, the obstreperous file that terrorized its way to stardom in last year's Untitled Goose game has been modified into Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Let me remind you that Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is a game that came out Friday, January 17th. That's right, it took less than a day for that damn goose to manifest into the unsuspecting world of Dragon Ball Z. I fear for the sanity of anyone that stumbles across the avian jerk, whether it be Super Saiyan 3 Goku or Majin Buu. You can see the goose flying solo atop, flying Nimbus, shooting energy beams at foes, and speaking in Goku's voice. I'm afraid to say that it is the Untitled Goose game, Goose, at its most powerful and treacherous. If you so dare, you can download Moscato's Untitled Goose Game mod for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot over at Kakarot Mods. Oh my goodness, this is absurdly hilarious to the point where I can't take the story seriously anymore. Now I've got to pick up the game for myself just for the lulls. And lastly, with some smashing news, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate adding Fire Emblem Three Houses by Lith. Brian Shea from Games Informer Post, available in both male and female forms, Byleth is the 8th character from the Fire Emblem series in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Byleth isn't great at throws or mobility, but they have great distance and varied attacks thanks to a changing weapons depending on the direction of your attack. Also has some seriously powerful attacks, but you have to be careful as some of these are easily countered by other Fire Emblem's characters, Sothis and something that happens later in the game. Along with Byla comes, Byla's alternate costumes are based on the house leaders and something that happens later in the game. Along with Byla comes Garrick Mac Monastery, which is full of guest characters from Fire Emblem, three houses and different locales. Near the marketplace, you'll find characters from the Blue Lion House, while the reception hall features Black Eagle characters. This DLC pack also adds 11 new songs all of which are available to use in all Fire Emblem stages. The Spirit Board also gains popular character and the house leaders as well as new A Heroic Legacy. Path in the Classic Mode, 
which lets you battle through Fire Emblem's base battles. Byleth and their stage join Smash Brothers Ultimate on January 28th as part of Challenger Pack 5 for $5.99 or as the fifth and final character of the first Fighters Pass. Alas, all the theoreticals and speculations have been put to rest and now players can get their wallets ready for purchase. I apologize if I may have butchered some of the names mentioned earlier. Please feel free to correct me in the comments below. Well, there you have it for Magnanimous Monday. If you're new to the channel and enjoy the content, please feel free to conduct your daily doses of LCS as it helps my channel grow. Have a great day, and as always,